Dear students, let me present to you an example of the CDF of a continuous random variable. A very, very simple example, but I would like to uh, put to you certain points that might not have attracted your attention prior to this. So, example is that a continuous random variable x is the CDF hai, that is given by f of x is equal to 0 for all x values which are less than 0, f of x is equal to x for all those x values which lie between 0 and 1, and f of x is equal to 1 for all those x values which are greater than or equal to 1. Continuous me up jante hi honge already, or agar nahi jante to ab note kar lije. के अगर हम लिखें के uh, x is greater than or equal to 1 और या अगर हम लिखें के x is greater than 1 तो it actually doesn't make any difference as far as the computation of probabilities is concerned क्योंकि exact किसी एक point के उपर तो probability exist ही नहीं करती ना तो इसलिए अगर हम कह रहे हैं के x is greater than or equal to 1 तब भी हम उस uh, area की बात कर रहे हैं under the curve uh, of the probability density function jo 1 ke aage hai aur agar hum dusri tarah ka baat kar rahe hain tab bhi hum usi area ki baat kar rahe hain acha ye to khair ek baat hui abhi main wapas aati hu apne us expression pe jo maine abhi aapke samne rakha ki capital f of x is 0 for x less than 0 it is 1 for x greater than or equal to 1 but in that interval 0 to 1 it is equal to x to agar ye situation hai तो उसका जो ग्राफ है वो कैसा होगा देखिए ये जो मैंने कहा कि इट इज इक्वल टू एक्स तो आप नोट करें कि एक्स का मतलब हुआ कि इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्ट्रेट लाइन व्हाई एम आई सेइंग दैट इसलिए कि आप जानते हैं कि इक्वेशन ऑफ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन क्या होती है वाई इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी एक्स अगर ए और ए जो है वो जीरो हो और बी जो है वो वन हो तो आपकी इक्वेशन क्या बनेगी y is equal to zero plus one x यानी y is equal to x तो so, इसलिए अगर आपका कैपिटल f of x x के बराबर है इन दी इंटरवल zero to one तो यकीनन वो एक स्ट्रेट लाइन ही देगा आपको और अब जैसा कि आप स्क्रीन पे देख रहे हैं आपको वो ग्राफ दिख रहा है जो के पूरे के पूरे x एक्सिस को कवर कर रहा है uh, distribution function ka graph jo hai, it has to cover the entire x-axis, starting from minus infinity and going up to plus infinity. Minus infinity se zero tak, hamari wo horizontal line jo hai, that is exactly on the x-axis. One se leke plus infinity tak, hamari wo horizontal line jo hai, that is at level one. Aur ye jo beach ka ilaka hai, zero to one, because of this algebraic expression, k f of x is equal to x, Yani it is a linear expression. That is why we are having a straight line. Ye yaad rakhye ke jo CDF hai, kisi bhi continuous random variable ka, wo isi type ka takriban hamesha aapko milega ke goya ek cheez niche se utke to upper ko chali jati hai, level zero se utke upper ban tak chali jati hai. Haal batta wo straight line aksar nahi hoti. Is example mein to hai na, but generally, it is not a straight line. This is why generally f of x that is not equal to x. It is a slightly more complicated expression. If it is a square, then it is going to be a curve, not a straight line. This is slanting line. Is this is only because this function is a linear function. The next question is that this is going to be done. But if we are interested in this part, कि हमें पता चले कि वो small f of x यानी वो जो PDF वो जो probability density function है वो क्या है कि जिसकी बुनियाद पे capital F इस form का हमें मिला है उसके लिए आप उसी बुनियादी rule को जहन में ले आईए कि capital F of x का अगर हम derivative लेंगे तो that will give us small f of x so just let's do it ये जो interval है हमारा interval zero to one is me jo uska value uska jo expression hai it is x so ab uska derivative le lijiye what is the derivative of x 
it is 1. So the PDF, the probability density function, is given by small f of x is equal to 1 for the interval x lying between 0 and 1. Uska graph jab hum banayenge, so that will be like a rectangle. Or isiliye, this particular distribution ko, kya kehte hain? It is called the rectangular distribution. Bilkul isiliye, because it is like a rectangle. Abhi to 1 a gaya hai na, to ab to wo horizontal line hai at level 1. In the interval 0 to 1, ye PDF ka graph ki baat ho rahi hai is vakt. Jis PDF ka graph horizontal line hai, us PDF ka capital F ka graph ye slanting line hai, jo pehle aapne, aapne saamne rakhi. To ab jo ye aapka a gaya hai uniform distribution, isi ko rectangular distribution kehte hai, because it is like a rectangle. But also, my dear students, it is also called the continuous uniform distribution. Jo horizontality this uh, distribution mein aapko milti hai, chahe wo discrete ho, chahe wo continuous ho, usse uniform distribution bhi kaha jata hai. Ye jo discrete hai, of course, usme hum continuous ek rectangle ki tarak ka, uska graph nahi hota, usme it is like a line chart अगर आपके नीचे x एक्सिस के ऊपर तीन पॉइंट्स हैं जिसके ऊपर वो डिफाइंड है जैसे -1 0 एंड 1 और 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 तो वो फिर आप तीन वर्टिकल लाइंस ड्रा कर देते हैं लेकिन सबकी हाइट बराबर है क्योंकि उनकी हाइट बराबर है तो फिर वहां से वो लव्स निकलता है कि जिस वजह से उसको कहते हैं डिस्क्रीट यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यहां पे इट इज एक्चुअली लाइक अ रेक्टेंगल बिकॉज़ ऑफ द कंटीन्यूटी हमने उसको Continuous uh, horizontal line se depict kiya hua hai. So therefore, it is called the continuous uniform distribution or it is also called the rectangular distribution. 